I did uh, put the poll up for a reason whether I was going to go um, 16 by 9 or scope. Like I've always had scope screens with an anamorphic lens. But this time I was like, well, this isn't an apartment. This is actually my house this time around. So I was thinking of just going wall to wall, left to right, you know, left, right, wall to wall. Mm -hmm. So that way, whatever screen would work best. Yeah, I did the measurements. I think it's going to be like 149 inches. Not not exactly touching the side walls, but pretty close. Yeah. And then height-wise is height-wise, um, which would maximize the screen to be 16 by 9. It would almost kind of make sense, um, you know, if we're looking at theatrically, depending on the perspective that you look at. If you're looking at, like, IMAX shot films, mm -hmm. technically IMAX shot films, you know, if you're at the theater, it would be the same ratio as like a scope screen, but then it would grow taller. Right. But if you're looking at movies that are shot 16 by nine or one eight five, um, if you're watching that on a scope screen, you would have a small square in the center of the screen. Oh, that's why the curtains yeah. come in. Right. Whereas IMAX stuff is kind of the reverse of that. Right. So I was just thinking, maybe I will just just maximize the sixteen by nine content. Um, so I will kind of omit the need to maybe have something like a mad VR, which would do the aspect ratio changing for me on a scope screen. Um, folks, mad VRs know what I'm talking about. Um, so I was just like, I could probably just deal with sixteen by nine, and maybe have some masking on the top and bottom for the scope stuff because it would still take up the entire front wall it would go from left to right yeah and then if i was watching imax stuff with switching aspect ratios then it would just blow up the entire screen so it'd be a little bit more impressive that way yeah because i'm already maxing out left and right i've got no place else to go so that's my rationale 16 by 9 acoustically transparent screen i haven't decided if it's going to be steward or somebody else we'll see who wants to uh send a screen mm. over my way um, well, I mean, because uh, you also, uh, how how much more expensive are those uh, motorized ones where the masking, you know, comes down when it's scope and then it goes goes yeah. away when it's 16 by 9? Yeah, those are expensive too. Come yeah. on, man. How much spare change Anything do you think motorized. I have? Yeah. How much spare change do you think I got? Can I, <laughs> can I go ahead and make little panels that goes <laughs> Velcro on and off or something like that? I know, I right? Probably could. <laughs> Um, am I bothered black by the black bars? Not really. It doesn't matter to me so much. So I don't. I don't really no. care about that too much. No. Um, I mean, but hey, if somebody if there's someone's gonna send me auto masking screen, I'm not gonna say no. I'll accept mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm probably you gonna probably go. Could with a hundred thousand yeah. subscribers. Yeah. So. It's, not, it's not like I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm not gonna see. Um. So that might be in the works. Auto masking 16 by 9 might be in the works only. Only because I'm going to go wall to wall with the screen size. So scope really, wouldn't really matter too much if I went scope or not scope. Right. Um, perforated screen this time, I think, because um, perforated screens are a little bit brighter than the weave screens. I haven't, ah. I've had a weave screen for the past couple of years now. 